Hello, I'm Paul Tribble, president of Christopher Newport University, and I have great news to share. Over the past two decades, Christopher Newport has gone through a period of dramatic transformation and now stands in the ranks of the finest schools in America. What distinguishes this university is that we care about minds and hearts. Our purpose is to enrich minds and to stir hearts and produce good citizens who will lead and serve and make the world a better place. The Wassum Center for Public Policy has contributed immensely to our success and to the significance and success of our students. Hundreds of students each year work with Dr. Quinton Kidd and our ABLE faculty to produce research that informs important public policy decisions in Virginia. Their work has been cited time and time again by our state and national media for its excellence on healthcare, public safety, education, and the other important issues of our day. The Wassum Center has been engaged in virtually every consequential decision in Virginia for the past decade. Today, I'm pleased to announce that the Wassum Center for Public Policy becomes the Wassum Center for Civic Leadership, empowered by the marvelous commitment of Judy and Harry Wassum to create the next generation of civic leaders for our community and for our Commonwealth. The Wassum Center for Civic Leadership will continue performing important survey research. And now, through the generosity of Judy and Harry Wassum, new scholarship funds will encourage high-ability, civic-minded students to pursue Christopher Newport's new leadership major while participating in the important programs of the center. We've also established a new advisory board, including many of Virginia's most successful civic leaders who will guide our programs and recruit prominent Virginians to mentor and inspire our students. Now I want you to hear from Judy and Harry Wasson. Harry and I are very excited about the new civic leadership program that is all about preparing students who will be our future leaders. It is our strong belief that we must inspire in them a passion for service and ensure that they have the tools and experiences to succeed in providing leadership that will make a positive difference in the quality of life for their communities, state, and country. No matter what profession they may choose or where they may live, our nation needs leaders who will listen to their fellow citizens and have empathy for their challenges and struggles. They will need to value facts they learn and know how to use that information to address problems that impact lives. Leaders are needed who will collaborate with a diverse range of people, no matter what their political party or issue positions. The new Wasson Center for Civic Leadership can and will prepare a new generation of leaders committed to addressing and finding fair and equitable solutions for our toughest problems. Judy and I sincerely thank President Tribble for his leadership in making this very important program possible. Thank you, Judy and Harry. And now I want you to hear from Tom Kramer, the new executive director of the Wasson Center for Civic Leadership. Tom? Our programs launch in the spring of 2021 with the new Civic Leadership Speaker Series. We will invite prominent statewide and national leaders from a variety of backgrounds, healthcare, business, politics, to challenge Christopher Newport students and our whole community to value and build a community where evidence-based decision-making, integrity, and mutual trust prevail. We will also launch a new Distinguished Virginians program. Each semester, our advisory board will help us recruit a cohort of Distinguished Virginians who are having or have had a significant impact on the civic life of our Commonwealth to directly engage and mentor small groups of students. For students interested in careers in politics and public service, we are launching a new platform to help connect current students with mentors in their chosen fields. We will also ask our mentors to host skill building workshops on finding policy oriented jobs in Richmond and Washington, DC. 
In the fall of 2021, we will welcome our very first group of Wasson Scholars to Christopher Newport University. And lastly, we are planning to grow the capacity of our well-regarded survey lab as we continue to provide the research and political analysis the Commonwealth relies on. As we do this, our work will be shaped by our new advisory board. I'm Jackie Stone, and I serve on the advisory board of the new Watson Center. The opinion research conducted by the Watson Center is the gold standard in the Commonwealth. My colleagues and I frequently use their work, so an expanded survey operation is very welcome news. I agreed to join the advisory board because I believe that we need to improve the level of discourse in America. I'm excited to be part of this next chapter of the Watson Center as we work to inspire the lives and opportunities of students who will become the next generation of civic leaders. And who better to do it than this university at whose core is a dedication to leadership. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Quentin Kidd, Academic Director of the Watson Center. When Judy and I met to make the initial plan for our survey research lab, I never thought we would be where we are today. I'm excited for the leadership of our advisory board and new executive director, but more importantly, I'm excited for the opportunity for our students to gain real world policy experience from experts while they conduct survey research and study civic leadership. We're helping create the next generation of evidence-based decision makers. At Christopher Newport, we want our students to choose to live lives of meaning and consequence and purpose. We call that the life of significance. Now more than ever, our Commonwealth, our country, desperately need young people such as these who will be civic minded and who will choose to engage and make the world a better place. I'm deeply grateful to Judy and Harry Wassum and to this marvelous array of civic leaders who have joined our advisory board. I hope you'll be excited by this initiative. I hope you will join us and support this important work. Thank you so much.